I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. Is it the skinny jeans? Are the skinny jeans cutting off the circulation in the population of California? The hipsters are just running rampant. The housing crisis is at a fever pitch out there, man. It is just insanity in California. Communism in California has literally taken over, right? People talk about leaving California daily. And what we're going to talk about today, folks, is another new attack by California on capitalism, right? California is attacking the real estate industry Again, this is uh, one of many recent proposed legislations in the state of California to outlaw private property ownership. Because let's face it, if you're reading the tea leaves, what they're trying to do in California is completely outlaw capitalism, outlaw private property ownership, outlaw real estate investing. Let's take a look at this new proposed socialistic communistic agenda and see how much more hurting it puts on those of you trying to make an honest living in the real estate industry in California. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to talk to you all about investing in real estate. I am here to answer your real estate questions in the latest hot topic, right? Answer your questions, talk about the hot topics in real estate, and the latest of many hot topics coming out of one of the largest real estate markets in the world, the California market, one of the most controversial housing markets there is, right? California, good old California, man. Beautiful weather, beautiful women, Hollywood, and communism. That's what we got, folks. This is just another slap in the face to red-blooded Americans who are sick of the socialism, sick of the woke politics, sick of California woke politicians taking your rights converting them to currency and buying votes from the left. The left-wing agenda is just taking over, right? They are trying to ruin anybody investing in property in the state of California, right? Newest law, newest proposed legislation just popped out, okay? The assembly bill would tax house flippers, those who sell homes a few years after buying. That's right. California is now doing another proposed attack on people investing in real estate. What must it be like to invest in real estate in California? Like, I, I do not live in the state of California. Thank the Lord. As a matter of fact, my business, a large portion of what we do is rescue Californians who are sick of the government just attacking their rights. We help them invest in markets outside of California because California is insane. I can only imagine what it feels like to be an investor living in California, where every day you wake up to a new proposed tax, a new way for them to steal your money. I'm telling you, folks, you know what else I've never done? I've never shoved a double-A battery up my dick hole. Never done that. But you know what? Assuming, you know, I'm just assuming here because I have never lived in California or owned California real estate, and I have never shoved a double-A battery up my penis hole. But, you know, just using common sense, putting two and two together, I could just assume that that is similar. That is the only way I could describe what it must feel like to be a resident, to be a property owner in the state of California, right? This is one of many, many new recent proposed legislations attacking home ownership, attacking the real estate industry in the state of California, right? We just put this video out. I don't know. This was like a month ago. California taxes doubling. What's a big tax hike mean for the California housing market, right? California 
the residents of California are the most taxed human beings in the United States of America already. California proposes doubling those taxes, right? It's so bad. It's double A battery up your pee hole bad out there in California, folks. What about this one? I just made this video like a month ago as well. Evictions are now illegal in California. Los Angeles landlords are outraged, right? When coronavirus popped off, right? COVID-19, okay? It has been illegal to evict people since that time. And they, we talked about it in this show, they extended that eviction moratorium all the way to 2023. So that means if you live in California, you're already the highest taxed in the nation. They're proposing doubling that. If you own a rental property, your tenant can legally steal from you for three years. Three years, no recourse. Three years, no recourse. You're already taxed more than anybody. They're doubling that. You have to allow people to steal from you for three years. So 40,000 landlords, folks. 40,000 landlords in a part of California said enough of this. They decided to leave their homes empty because they didn't want to be stolen from for three straight years. What did California do? They proposed another new tax. Doubling your taxes must allow tenants to steal from you. If you try to circumvent the socialist woke policies of California, try to outsmart the left wing and leave your home vacant, nope, California's going to hit you again. They're going to tax you penalize you for leaving your property empty, not allowing people to steal from you, right? And then the reason for today's show, the newest legislation, right? Now they're going after you if you just say, I give up, I give up. You want to sell your property, right? They double your taxes, force you to allow people to live there for free. If you say, screw this, I'm going to leave my house empty, they attack you with another house. So now you're beaten. You're down. You're, you're, uh, okay, you win. Skinny jeans. The skinny jeans mafia is attacking me. I give up. I'm going to sell my property. And then California lays this down on you, folks. San Diego. House flippers could be taxed 25% of their profit under the California Speculation Act. A bill introduced by Assembly Member Chris Ward. What a dong! He's a Democrat from San Diego. Obviously, he's a Democrat. Do they even need to write that? I mean, come on. Assembly Bill 1771 aims to discourage real estate speculation that Ward said drives up home prices as equity investors outbid individual home buyers. We've heard of people getting into their first home getting beat by cash offers from investors, Ward said at a news conference Wednesday at the San Diego County Administration Center. Those investors typically resell their properties soon afterward at inflated prices, stoking competition for limited housing and driving up market prices for comparable homes, he said. The bill introduced last week would impose a 25% tax on the profits from a home resold within three years after it's bought. Three years. We're not even talking like six months here. We're talking three years. As a matter of fact, it gets even worse. After the third year, that rate would drop to 20%, and it would decline each year afterward until it is eliminated after seven years. Seven years, folks. Let me give you a little secret, a little industry secret. Do you know what the average... Uh, length of ownership is across the United States of a house, statistically, uh, over the whole country. On average, people buy and sell their primary residence every seven years. Shockingly, this new attack on freedom from California doesn't go away till seven years. Another little tidbit for you. On average, how often do people sell secondary homes, rental properties, things of that nature across the whole country every four years, right? So they're getting you. They're getting you any which way, folks. Remember, tax is already higher than everywhere else in the world. Well, at least in the United States. I don't know about other countries, right? Uh, but <clears throat> in the United States, California, most taxed human beings in America, they're going to try to double that. Evictions are illegal. You must, you must allow deadbeats to steal from you for at least three years in parts of California. If 
if you say enough, no, I will not allow people to steal from me. I'll just leave my house vacant. Parts of California now penalizing you for that. And now, if you're like, okay, you beat me. You got me every which way. You put it in there. No lube. You didn't buy me dinner. And you didn't even provide a courtesy. Reach around. I can't handle it anymore. Please let me sell my property. You win, government. Nope. New penalty. Taking care of you there, too. California. It's the Cold War all over, man. This is the new Cold War, people. Those Wokies. Wokies. It's a term I made up. Those Wokies. That is a person who is woke, who is congregated with other woke people, and they're attacking freedom. The Wokies, right? It's the new Cold War, the Cold War on freedom, right? As a matter of fact, just made a video about this freaking jerk off, this guy right here. His name's Thought Slime. Thought slime, right? That's, that's what he goes by. Thought slime, right? Some fancy eyeliner he's got. Nice guy. Anyway, he's got this video talking about landlording and how it's wrong and how landlords are evil. And then he mentions this guy quite often, right? This guy uh, is like Mao, Mao Zayao or something like that, right? You maybe remember him from history. Uh, what he did is... Uh, Long story short, uh, you know, took over China many, 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 many years ago. Uh, took it over communists, took all the land from private citizens, cut many of their heads off with the guillotine, right? This is what these liberal woke maniacs are out there spewing, right? This is what these people are doing. These people are in America, in the state of California, are out there like, yeah, this guy! From communist China, like uh, 7,500 years ago, he's cutting people's heads off. Woo! Housing is a right. We should steal from those who work for what they have. It's nuts, man. Wave the light flag, folks. If you live in the state of California, you got to get out. At least get your money out. There is nothing you can do. They have gotten you every which way possible, folks, and that's what my company is here to do. That's what our mission is. We help those of you trying to leave California with your funds. We help you put it into real estate markets, put it into profitable investments, put it into areas where they are still governed by the laws of the United States of America, right? I don't think there's a lot of people out there looking for turnkey providers in China. Well, that is pretty much what it's turning out to be in the real estate market in California, folks. This stuff is nonsense. I encourage you to take a look at this show, right, uh, to see the type of propaganda, communist propaganda, that these Wokies are spitting out. It is horrendous, and it is no surprise that California has just taken another step further uh, to outlaw capitalism in the state. It's just disgusting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.